All right, guys, welcome back to another video here. Now, in this video here, I want to talk about getting information from a website or sending a Unity web request, okay? Now, this is one of those topics you can really explore and really kind of go into a bunch of different subtopics about this thing here. But right now, I just want to give you, kind of give you guys an idea here just to kind of get started. And then in future videos, we're going to explore this more and more, okay? So right now, the project is completely vanilla. It's completely blank here. The only thing I have is a script, and the script is as blank as it comes here. And I believe I have this script attached to the... The camera right now so when we start the scene here the scene or excuse me the script will run to okay so first things first so we need to include a namespace we're saying we're going to say using unity engine dot networking now let's go ahead and let's start to type out a start method we're going to come back to this in a second here and then we're also going to use an i enumerator now if you're not familiar with an i enumerator i'm going to show you guys kind of like a demo in a second here the way it works here but right now let's go ahead and type this out i'm going to call this get info and this is a method from here and we're going to open this up in curly braces from there okay so first off here we are going to so what we're going to do is we're going to say var request so this is a variable that's going to be named requester and this is going to be equal to a unity web requester and there's different types of requests you can do if you've ever done any type of web development before here there are git requests there are post requests and again like i said you can really dive deep into this topic here right now we're just gonna make a git request now as an argument we're gonna pass in a url link now i'm just gonna do and i'm just gonna do uh i'm just gonna do google right now just to get some information back and then what we're gonna do beneath this here so we had the variable we built the variable here but we have to go ahead and say yield return and we actually have to send the web request here. So we're going to say request.send web request. And this is the method that we're going to call from here, okay? And now we have all this information coming back here. We're going to say debug.log. And we're going to say request.downloadhandler.txt. So all the information coming back is going to be stored in this variable from here, okay? Now, this is just a method from here. We actually have to call that method now. So we're going to say start cover team. And we're going to pass in the method as an argument, which is get info and then a semicolon from there, okay? Now, I said before how I'm gonna give you guys a demo of the way this works here. If I put debug.log and I put something like, hello, right there. Typically, if this was not an enumerator and this was just a normal function here, we should expect to see this going first and then this, right, going in order from here. Now, if I don't want the game, like if we're sending out information, if we're trying to get information back from the web, it's gonna take some amount of time, even if it's just milliseconds from here. So I don't want the game to stop here. I basically want to have this function run and the rest of the information, the rest of the game keep going, if that makes sense from there. So we should see this be printed first here and then the information come back there, okay? Let's go back to Unity here. Let's go ahead and hit play. And then if we go to the console from here, we see, first off, we see hello. Like I said before, this was second, but since it's a uh, coroutine here, this is, gonna, uh, this is going to do its thing here, and it's going to keep going on from there, okay? And then from there, we have this information coming back, coming back from Google.com. And this is essentially what your browser, what Chrome or what Firefox is doing here, but since... Since their web browsers, right, they can take this information and start to turn it into like visible uh, uh, graphics. All right, Unity doesn't do that. It just takes the HTML back here and it just prints it to the console because that's what we said we want to do with uh, with this statement from here. Okay, let's try one more here. Why don't we do like Amazon.com, Amazon.com? Okay, back to Unity here, and I think that saved. Cool. Back to Unity here. We'll go go ahead and stop this, and then we're going to restart it. So now we have this being printed from here, and this could be like, you know, adding different coins to player score or something like that here. And then this could be like a database call at the end of the round here. So again, we see different information coming back from Amazon.com, all right? If you guys enjoyed here, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe here. And if you guys really enjoyed and want to learn a lot more about the subject here, I dive pretty, uh, I, I do, I talk a lot more about this in my Udemy courses. Links in the descriptions down below. You guys did fantastic, and I hope you guys have a great day.